so this is the box of the TP-Link Archer T9E and it is compatible on both uh, bands 5 gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz and you can see so this Archer the model name is this one the dark green one Archer T9E 1300 megabytes per second and 600 megabytes per second on 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz and wireless range interference is PCI Express 3 antennas and surf email chat and all the specs and you can see these are the box application and benefits here is the barcode it's too bright and now let's unbox it get off let me use a, this I think it's sealed if I can get that all right that's enough so oops let me make the box go straight and here it comes where do I have to take this thing yep right from here and there's a quick installation guide and a CD for Windows drivers and as far as I have read it is compatible with Mac OS X and after this we will try this on a Mac and on a Hackintosh as well this is what go on the board and then we got this caution frequent handling electrostatic sensitive device we got something here as well three antennas and that's it that's all in the box and then we will take this precaution thingy off and we'll take out our device this beautiful thing sorry for my phone camera is out of focus this thing is confusing for the camera to catch yep quite beautiful thing and after installing it I will switch to the computer and I will show you how it works and we will do some speed benchmarks of this device so let's go there welcome guys and now we are back to our screen after plugging in the PCI Express card into my PCI Express slot the TP-Link Archer T9e I just booted up into my Hackintosh and this is a Hackintosh and and if this works on a Hackintosh that means it will definitely work on a Macintosh and the best part is that it worked out of the box you can see this icon top here so I will connect to my internet now and we will check how good it is working I will enter my password and we will join the internet and you can see that it's connected and it worked like a charm it was quite easy and you can see it works like it was on original Mac 100% working everything is working correctly and let's see the link speed we are getting from our device to which we are connected its network utility and we go to Wi-Fi and it's 145 megabits per second we got an active address and a wireless bandwidth and before doing the benchmark we will just see about the spec specs and the compatibility with the Mac things it sports on the Mac and let this thing load and congratulations it sports all the bands wireless channels which are known it sports all the modes A, B, G, N and the fastest AC and the airdrop facility is also activated on the channel 149 
and to check if your uh, airport is working we can just go here we can just go on finder and my finder is here and we go up and hit airdrop Ta -da. this thing is blue that means it's working that means it's 100% working and if a Mac or another iPhone or device will connect to our internet it will instantly be visible over here now once this is done we will go to our network and we will disconnect our internet it is disconnected and now we will go and do some benchmarks speedtest.net let's see what we are getting on average the speed of my internet is about 5 to 8 MB download and about 10 to 15 MB upload let's see how well this card works and I kind of zoom in so to for those who are watching on mobile phones yeah look at this it's giving about 9 MB's download 8.5 MB's download and let's see what we'll get on upload the download is quite astonishing right now for my internet speed it is very low I know on the worldwide but right now I get about 5 to 8 on my ethernet and the upload speed is great as well really impressed with the performance of my card and that's really nice the upload is almost twice than download and I'm really happy with it and I would really really recommend this card to all of those out on Mac or on Hackintosh because this is an out of the box compatible card and it's have an astonishing speed of up to 1900 megabits per second and on average on 5 gigahertz it gives about 5 on 5 gigahertz it gives about about 1300 megabits per second and on 2.4 gigahertz it give about 600 megabits of link speed which gives an excellent local area networking and that's all for this video the unboxing of the TP link and checking and benchmarking of this card on our Hackintosh and it will definitely work on Windows and Macintosh so that's all for this video guys thanks for watching hope you liked it and hope it helped you as well for more such videos please subscribe to my channel and like the videos until the next video please take care Allah Hafiz